Story time. The Berenstein Bears and the Broken Piggy Bank by Stan and Jan Berenstein. One, two, one, two. Brother and Sister Bear liked to go shopping with Mama Bear. In the supermarket, they saw things they wanted. Brother saw a toy airplane one day. Oh, I want that, he said. Mama bought the airplane for brother. Sister saw a teddy bear. I want that, she said. Mama bought the teddy for sister. Look, look, said brother. A truck. I want that too. But Mama did not buy the truck for him. No, you may not have the truck. Why not? asked brother. Because, she said, we cannot have all the things we want. Why not? asked sister. Hmm, said mama. She had an idea. I will buy you one more thing. It is a thing that will teach you about money. It will teach you to save. It is a bank. The bank looked like a little pig. It was a piggy bank. It had a slot in the top for money. When brother and sister got money, they put it in the slot. Sometimes they got money as a gift. They got pennies. They got nickels. They got dimes. They got quarters. Sometimes they even got dollars. Good, said Mama. That bank is teaching you to save. What are we saving for? Asked Sister. You are saving for something special, said Mama. Like what? Asked Brother. Oh, you will know when the time comes, said Mama. Sometimes they got money for jobs they did. They brought in the empty trash cans. They watered the flowers. They pulled out the weeds. They put more money in the slot. Good, said Mama. That piggy bank is teaching you to save. The piggy bank has a slot in the top to put money in, said Sister. But how will we get the money out for something special? Oh, said Mama. You will know how when the time comes. Then one day, brother and sister knew that the special time had come. That piggy bank taught us how to save, said sister. But how will we get it out? There's only one way to do it, said brother, with the piggy bank opener. He got his toy hammer and put the bank on the floor. Crash went the piggy bank and all the cub's money spilled out. Brother and sister took the money and ran. Oh dear, said Mama, when she saw the broken piggy bank. I hope brother and sister have not taken their money to buy something foolish. Something foolish like candy, or comic books, or rides at Fun Park. Mama heard the door open. She turned and saw brother and sister. They were licking the biggest lollipops she had ever seen. You foolish cubs, she said. You are going to save your money for something special. She did not see that brother and sister had a small box. That is what we did, said sister. Lollipops may taste good, but they are not special, said mama. That's not what's special, Mama, said Brother. What's special is your birthday. Here's your present. But my birthday is not until tomorrow. Oh dear, said Mama. I am the foolish one. I forgot that tomorrow is my birthday. Must I wait until tomorrow to open it? Open it now, open it now, said the cubs. 
Mama's present was a watch. What a fine birthday present, she said. Thank you very much. But where did you get those lollipops? We got the watch at Mr. Jones' store, and Mr. Jones gave them to us for being such nice cubs. Mr. Jones is right about that, said Mama. She gave brother and sister a big hug. I am very lucky to have such fine cubs. The end. See you next time, kiddos.